Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 24th March 2019. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. You may visit the website superiorprofit.co to learn more about me, the company and its trading products and services. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, we will go through the technical analysis of oil and gold. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to trade them in the direction of the market. We'll study market direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of the market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with market's direction, we like to align them with industry strength as well. We'll study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may review some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum. If I don't do that, you may visit the traders forum from our website. It is open to the public. And we will look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on or entry chart. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart after displaying the bullish headwind signal oil went up this week's candle color in the weekly chart backdrop candle color remained bullish cyan however the shape is indecisive in the daily chart price is in an uptrend it came to the upper boundary level and then on friday dropped somewhat it found support at the memory trend line support there is no swing trade opportunity in oil right now. Gold ETF GLD In the weekly chart, GLD went up for three successive weeks. However, the weekly backdrop candle color is remaining magenta, that is bearish. This week's candle shape is mixed with both upper as well as lower tails. In the daily chart, after displaying the bearish headwind, GLD fell. It came to the lower boundary level and then recovered somewhat, came to value area. GLD is not in an uptrend and the weekly backdrop candle color is magenta bearish. Therefore, there is no long opportunity in GLD right now. From commodities analysis, we move on to market breadth analysis. We are analyzing market breadth using NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index, both using weekly charts, along with three pairs of internals, new high low, advanced decline, and up down volume. Because this analysis is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval, 
this is to be used more for longer term investment decisions and for swing trading but not for day trading one week ago both nasdaq and nyse closed strongly higher however in that market roundup i suggested caution because of contradicting signals displayed by the market breadth analysis and the market etf analysis this commentary was timely because this week both nasdaq and nyse ended with bearish shape candles in the weekly charts both the indices are not in downtrend they are not in an uptrend either from the swing band indicators we can see that the trend is neutral yellow however the candle shapes are showing that market is weak and the weakness is further seen from the internals all the six internals decline and except the new high low of nyse everything closed below zero the damage done to the market is evident from the advance decline negative numbers they reached a level that was seen last around christmas of last year this week's advance decline negative readings went below the readings that we saw around christmas last year let's see what readings we can get from the market etf analysis we are studying the s&p 500 etf spy in the weekly chart the candle shape is bearish the color is neutral yellow in the daily chart price fell below the memory support line on friday friday's candle color turned magenta this is certainly not bullish at the same time though it broke below one memory support line there is another memory support line nearby therefore we are not going to take any short trade in spy right now nasdaq etf qqq this was stronger than s&p 500 the weekly candle shape is bearish with long upper tail however the color is remaining bullish that is cyan in the daily chart price came down on friday displayed a bear release signal price came down with heavy bearish pressure if you notice the heavy bearish pressure was there in spy as well on friday however the daily candle color didn't turn magenta unlike spy therefore based on the at a glance analysis qqq is remaining stronger than spy price is very close to the upper boundary level we are not going to consider taking any long trade also qqq doesn't have any short setup right now dow jones etf dia it was and is continuing to be weaker than the market the relative performance line is strongly tilting downward this week's backdrop candle color is neutral the shape is bearish in the daily chart price was inside a triangle pattern on friday price broke below one memory support line however closed just above another memory support line we will not consider taking any short trade until it can drop below the second memory support line on friday price closed down with heavy bearish pressure this is no time to take any long trade and there is no short setup as well 
Russell 2000 ETF IWM when IWM was strongly going up at that time I shared a post on our Twitter channel mentioning that if the price turns down then IWM would be the one hardest hit that is coming true the weekly candle color and shape both are bearish this week price dropped heavily the relative performance line is sharply tilting down now showing that it is hugely underperforming the market this friday in the daily chart price fell down with heavy bearish pressure friday's candle shape is very bearish the flow candle color is bearish as well iwm is looking clearly bearish this is certainly not a time to take any long trade in small cap stocks if you are holding long positions you may be cautious you may book your profit or protect your position using stop order or put options and it is certainly looking like the time to start identifying short opportunities in small cap stocks what do we see when we combine the result from market breadth analysis with the outlook from the market ETF analysis we see that market is still in an uptrend in the daily chart except probably for Russell 2000 in the weekly charts also it is not in a downtrend however on Friday the broad indices as well as the four market ETFs dropped heavily Russell 2000 more than others all the ETFs dropped with heavy bearish pressure this is not the time to start taking new long trades instead if you have long positions you may protect profit in general and you may start looking for shorting opportunities especially in small cap stocks that is the conclusion we arrive at from market level analysis however when you drill down from the market level to sector level and then further into industry level then check the stocks fundamentals and technicals you are always able to find trading opportunities by aligning all the forces together from industry level fundamental level and technical level both in the long direction and in the short direction are there good buying opportunities right now or is it easier to take shorting opportunities let's find that out from the sector industry fundamental and technical analysis we call this 360 degrees analysis one month sector performance we are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods the red bar represents performance of this week green bar performance of the previous week and the blue bar performance of two weeks before that together they represent one month of sector performance any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down this week eight of the 11 sectors declined three sectors went up but by relatively smaller percentages utilities is the strongest sector this week and this is the only sector that is up for all the three review periods utilities had been strong for a while though it is the best performing sector right now the lowest risk buying opportunities might have already passed consumer discretionary is the only sector that is down for all the three review periods therefore it is not the time to start looking for buying opportunities in consumer discretionary at the same time because this is already weak for three successive periods the best shorting opportunities might have passed many of the sectors 
displayed a strong reversal. Infotech, materials, industrials, financials, all of them declined heavily. Another view of the sector's performance over five day period and one day period. Over five day period, three sectors went up, eight went down. We saw that just now. On Friday, except utilities, all the other sectors went down. The magenta bars are showing that on Friday, the sectors dropped heavily. Financials is very weak now, both over five day period as well as one day period. Energy had a strong reversal on Friday. Other sectors like industrial, infotech, materials are also looking weak. There is broad weakness in the market. You may protect profit in your long positions and look for shorting opportunities. Sector scorecard and heat map using QH, deal time, sector industry analyst. Here we are looking at the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, etc. Cyan color represents strength and magenta represents weakness. 5 days period shows this week's performance. You can instantly see that currently financials, industrials, materials are the weakest. Therefore, you would look for shorting opportunities in these sectors. If at all you are looking for buying opportunities, you may look for them in utilities and energy. However, when you open up the more recent periods of two days and one day, you will see that energy has deteriorated rapidly from being one of the best performers to the worst performer on Friday. With that finer detail that you can get from QH, you are not going to look for any long opportunity in energy. You might look for buying opportunities in utilities. However, utilities is strong now and it had been strong for a long time. Therefore, the best buying opportunities in utilities may be already over. The scorecard and heat map is showing that it is probably best to look for shorting opportunities and protect profit in any long position that you may have. Best performing industries. These are the best performing industries of this week. We are looking at these industries 5 days and 10 days scores. In 360 degree technique, we like to take long positions only in industries that are strong. Therefore, you would look for buying opportunities in these industries. However, the overall market is looking weak. You may not take any long position right now. If the market starts to go up, you might consider taking long positions, new long positions in these or similar strong industries. There are several energy industries in this best performing industries list. That is because we are looking at their five days strength. As we saw just now from sector analysis that over one day period on Friday energy declined heavily, these two industries also declined. Therefore, you are not going to look for any buying opportunity in these energy industries. Rest of the industries that you see here are either defensive industries 
like gold, packaged foods and meats, specialized rates, or those related to regular spending of people, like general merchandise stores, consumer electronics, specialty stores, etc. They tend to hold on to their price levels better when the market declines. However, holding on to their price levels better doesn't mean that you need to start buying into these industries. If the market is down, it is best to avoid buying. I tried to drill down into several of these industries but didn't find any low-risk, high-probability buying opportunities right now. Industry scorecard and heat map using QH. Here you will find the best performing industries of this week shown in cyan color under 5 days column. Several of these industries were relatively weak earlier like interactive home entertainment. Its score was in magenta color and now it is turning into strength. These are the optimal industries to look for buying opportunities. Same is true for packaged foods and meats, specialty stores, etc. If the market starts to turn up, you may look for buying opportunities here. Worst performing industries of this week, you will look for shorting opportunities here and avoid buying. At the sector level, financials is the worst performing sector and that weakness is shown in four of the financials industries coming into the 10 worst performers list. These are regional banks, life and health insurance, diversified banks, and thrift and mortgage finance. QH industry scorecard and heat map shows the worst performing industries with magenta color under 5 days column. Three of the 10 worst performers are in financial sector. These are regional banks, life and health insurance and thrift and mortgage finance. You might look for shorting opportunities here. We had a live webinar session on last Thursday before market open. In that webinar, I discussed several regional banks. Let's drill down into the regional banks industry. I discussed several regional banks in that live session. CFG was one of them. CFG has good valuation. The valuation score is in cyan color. In terms of earnings growth also, it is quite strong. Fundamentally, as a stock, CFG is strong. However, the industry was weak and on Q technical charts, it broke below memory support. CFG using Q at a glance weekly daily template. The weekly backdrop candle color is magenta bearish. The shape is also very bearish. It is strongly underperforming the market shown by the relative performance line tilting down. It has extreme bearish pressure in the weekly chart as well as in the daily chart. In the daily chart, CFG has extreme bearish pressure for four successive days. I discussed CFG on Thursday before market open. At that time, we saw that it broke below the memory trend line support. Looking at that clear weakness, I had suggested caution on any long position you might have and also suggested that you could look for a shorting opportunity 
making sure that you have a low risk entry point. You could take that shot on Thursday using real time Q fine tune chart. If you took that short trade on Thursday, you already have large profit in that trade. Following discipline, you would probably book at least partial profit by Friday. The stock is fundamentally strong. However, the industry is very weak and technically the chart is looking very bearish. Therefore, you might not need to close entire position. You would book partial profit with discipline and hold on to partial position with Q trailing stop trying to let profit run. This is same EFG daily interval. However, I have changed the template to Q protection template that shows the stop loss level or protect profit level. The stop or protect profit level for any short position is displayed by the cyan color Q protection dots. When CFG broke down below this memory trend line support, you could start to look for shorting opportunities. Now, price has dropped significantly, you could book at least partial profit. As of Friday's close, the Q protection signal is at this point, which is well below your breakout entry signal price level. Therefore, even if now price goes up and hits your trailing stop at this point, you will have profit in the remaining position. On the other hand, if price continues to go down, you will be able to let profit run. That is how using Q technique, you would like to book at least partial profit once the risk distance is covered and then try to let profit run on partial position. In Q technique, we look for buying opportunities in strong industries and also in accelerating industries. These industries were behind others earlier, but are gaining momentum and normally you would look for buying opportunities here. However, the overall market is looking weak, you may avoid buying into these industries right now. If the market starts to go up, you may drill down into these industries, look for strong fundamental stocks that are also at a low risk buy point. I tried to drill down into several of these industries, however, didn't find any low risk high probability buying opportunity right now. In QA, industry scorecard and heat map, the pace column represents acceleration or deceleration. Acceleration is displayed by cyan color. These are the most accelerating industries of this week. As I already mentioned, it may not be the time to start looking for buying opportunities in these industries right now. Lastly, we look at the decelerating industries. These were stronger earlier, but now losing strength very fast using Q360 degrees technique, you would avoid buying into these industries and look for shorting opportunities. Semiconductor equipment was very strong earlier. Now it is decelerating. This is one industry where you might look for shorting opportunities of stocks that are at a relatively high price level. In QEdge, the decelerating industries of the week are shown by magenta color under 5 days column. Semiconductor equipment is one of the decelerating industries. The industry strength shows that it is not the weakest industry right now. However, the pace column shows that it is decelerating. Therefore, you would avoid buying and look for shorting opportunities. If you drill down, 
you find B R K S in semiconductor equipment industry the valuation is weak it is overvalued stock shown by magenta color under valuation column and the earnings in the latest quarter turned negative from positive earnings growth a quarter earlier therefore you have a stock here in brks that is fundamentally overvalued showing negative and decreasing earnings growth and the industry itself is decelerating brks using q at a glance template the stock is fundamentally overvalued with negative earnings growth in a decelerating industry you would look for shorting opportunity such an opportunity came on this day as a headwind reversal trade setup at that time the weekly candle shape was bearish though the color was bullish that is okay just having the bearish shape in the weekly chart allows us to take a where is headwind short trade on this day you could apply the unambiguous checklist that we have for the different trade setups and you could identify the bearish headwind reversal short trade setup on this day your stop would be just above recent high entry price will be the closing price of that day and you would attempt to book at least partial profit once the risk resistance was covered so you could book partial profit at this point itself you could hold on to partial position and by this friday you would have very large profit in the remaining position if you didn't take the short trade using the bearish headwind signal you could take the short trade on this day applying the trend following q go with flow short trade setup that trade has also hit its profit target the lower boundary level by this friday as the stock is fundamentally weak industry is decelerating and technically it is looking pretty weak this will be another case where you will continue to hold partial position trying to let profit run those were our regular topics i will not go through the forum trade ideas you may read about those ideas from our traders forum you will notice that most of my recent trade ideas had been bearish that would usually give you an indication of my overall market view how can you access the traders forum you may access our forum from our home page by clicking on the forum picture here or you could access it from the trade ideas forum menu as well before i finish let me summarize market level analysis is showing that it is weak over longer period it is not in a downtrend however there is clear weakness evident from the friday's market move russell 2000 is in a downtrend you may be especially careful about any long position you are having in small cap stocks sector level is showing clear weakness so is evident from the industry level as i mentioned i tried to find low risk high probability buying opportunities in the industries that are relatively stronger now however i didn't find any on the other hand it is pretty easy right now to identify low risk high probability shorting opportunities in weak industries as well as in decelerating industries in such a market situation it is much easier to profit from taking q360 degree short trades
that is all that I wanted to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session and also in the Thursday, Monday morning meetup, the live webinar session. Have a great week and trade profitably.